kicking it off with probably one of the most controversial topics. Hoping <laughs> to keep this PG-13 as much as possible, but I mean, unless you kind of lived under a rock, it blew up on Twitter. Every freaking news outlet, even not necessarily comic, was carrying this headline, and we were talking about there's a third season of the Harley Quinn animated show that's about to come up, and they interviewed the showrunner for it, and they said they had to cut a scene out, and that scene was that, you know, Bat well, Batman was eating a little bit of kitty cat, right? <laughs> I'm so glad this is the first topic and not the last topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then on top of it, they said, you know, the showrunner was keeping it in. DC told him they had to take it out, and he asked them why why they needed to take it out, and they said superheroes superheroes don't do that. And then <laughs> they further elaborated on it because he's like, well, are, are heroes selfish lovers? And they said, no. The bottom line was um, we got to sell toys, and we can't sell toys when Batman is – Eating some pussy cat. <laughs> don't, 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 even get, don't even get me started on Batman in the bottom line. <laughs> but it took over Twitter. It's all over the headlines. You saw everyone, comic creators, everyone was talking about this on Twitter. There was all types of puns, all types of different panels. And then on top of it, if Andy got the screenshot there where Zack Snyder came out there and just said, Canon with Whoa. a fan art tweet. Canon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know if he's talking about this is in canon or if it shot shot out like a cannon. I don't know. <laughs> but and for all I know, he might just be smelling her belly button. That's yeah. too weird stuff. That's where she stores her lint. <laughs> yeah. It's like either way. I want to know you guys' thoughts on this. Do you think it should have stayed in? I think Harley is one of the – it was one of the best shows that was on the DC Universe app, mm. minus Titans and, of course, um, Swamp Thing before we saw the demise of Swamp Thing yeah. before it even got started. But it's on HBO Max. It's a great show. Do you think this should have stayed in the show? I'm of the opinion it's an R-rated cartoon. Keep it in the show. But, Dank, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, absolutely. They should have kept it in. I'm not really sure how this leaked to begin with. I don't know who's let it. Like, this conversation should have happened without the public knowing necessarily, right? But um, I don't know if you guys have read Rom B's characterization of Catwoman recently. But um, I don't even know why she's into Batman anymore. Like, to be honest, like, when I think about who Catwoman is now, I'm like, I don't really get why. Because Batman seems such a like a herb nowadays and like everyone's criticizing him all over DCU right in the comics like how he's sort of a boring too serious guy I don't really imagine maybe if anything Batman wouldn't be good giving in game for that kind of thing because he's a little too serious um so I don't know right now. Very... <laughs> so, <laughs> cause he, he wants people to swear to him you know and it's a little I'm not the one wearing hockey pads. <laughs> it really and seals in the honest, they, could have, they could have sold the crap out of some toys. It just might not have been in the Walmart toy aisle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alberto Hefe can't keep his composure over there. <laughs> the, only thing that, the only things that come to, comes to mind... Ooh comes to mind are those action figure toys back in the 80s that you used to be able to squirt water out of them or they could have done like the he-man battle armor where you hit the chest and different <laughs> <laughs> they could have done that they should have left that I, my opinion is they should have just left it in the show and uh there's that old adage of there's no such thing as bad public publicity but this could have gone probably a lot farther for them if they just would have left it alone or left it in the show and this is <sighs> This is, <laughs> this is I'm not gonna be able to leave this one alone for weeks. <laughs> well, at least now you know why Batman and Catwoman never got married. Oh. <laughs> but it's I mean, canon. You saw it. he was just doing it. Yeah. It's canon. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. I part of me thinks that they kind of brought this all up just to get some more buzz around the show, whether it be mm. positive or negative. But yeah, there's still probably better ways they could have done it than this. That's the way this said. rolled out. <laughs> just, just saying. I mean, look at look at what uh, Batman Dam did because of the Batwing. 
All right. So it's true. Why why would you take this out? Like I I, I don't get it. Um I, I I think they made a huge mistake by not, awesome. not running with it. Um I'm from the indie comic side and they do way crazier shit over there. But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cherry yeah. Blackbird, you guys read that? Oof. Yeah. Money mean, shot. Faithless. Uh, I mean, it's I mean, so I don't I don't know. I think they totally uh screwed the pooch on this one, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm just curious. I mean, there's people in the chat. That they're ch go and chime in in the chat. What do you guys think? Do you think they should have just kept the scene in? Do you think this was all mostly publicity stunt? But I mean, I mean using the excuse of "Hey, we have to sell toys for superheroes" when it's an R-rated cartoon, animated, a you know, adult cartoon, anyways. I think that's kind of a bad excuse to say. Well, we're trying to sell toys. You can't. You can't have bat eating cat. <laughs> and the, the average toy buyer. I like this hat. <laughs> And people that buy toys are thirty-five-year-old men, anyway, right? So, what are we, what are we talking? Who's buying the? Are kids buying toys anymore? Give us like what we want, McFarlane. <laughs> <laughs> Batman in an elevator that just says "Going Down." <laughs> <laughs> See, there's no question. Soups would do it, right? So. That's what I'm wondering. Would Soups do it? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Hero. got power. Well, heroes don't do that. <laughs> <He's a man. laughs> like, he would vibrate his tongue, go through time. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. This thing's not going fast enough. There it goes. It finally caught up. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, he's just smelling her belly button in the picture. So, I mean, Batman's back in the corner there like, I'm never going to recover from this. But, but going back to the toy thing, they're, yeah, they're trying to sell toys, but this is an R-rated cartoon already that's not for kids. Like, you're not selling those toys, you know, exactly. with that property. Like, I don't know. Well, I agree, hundred percent. You, you got an R-rated thing already. Why not just keep it rolling? <laughs> yeah, I think we're all in agreement on this one where they should have just kept it in. But I mean, either way, it made for a great weekend on Twitter and social media. Absolutely. And like I said, there was websites and news news sites, and like CNET was running it and stuff. It's like. Uh, yeah, there was get... news sites that you wouldn't normally see. Um, and I think we did pretty good on this topic. It wasn't, it didn't go too, too, uh, I think we kept it kind of PG 13. <laughs>